Core Vocabulary Treatment A core vocabulary approach focuses on whole word production and is used for children with inconsistent speech sound production who may be resistant to more traditional therapy approaches. By improving the child's ability to form or access phonological plans, their phonological systems are self-corrected and operate successfully. Crosby, Holm, and Dodd reported that children with inconsistent speech disorders benefit most from core vocabulary therapy in terms of having increased consistency and percentage of consonants correct, while children with consistent speech disorders make the most change in percentage of consonants correct when error patterns are targeted. These results were for children ages 4 years 8 months to 6 years 5 months and provided support for the hypothesis that the underlying deficit of inconsistent speech disorders is phonological planning and not a cognitive linguistic deficit. Dodd, Holm, Crosby, and McIntosh agreed that this research and also state that the underlying deficit of inconsistent speech disorders are phonological planning deficits and that children most affected fall in the severe speech sound disorder range. The rationale for the approach is that different parts of the speech processing chain respond differently to therapy targeting different processing skills and the treatment that targets the speech processing deficit underlying the child's speech disorder will result in system-wide change. The components of the assessment for diagnosis would be full independent and relational analysis followed by the completion of an inconsistency assessment. An inconsistency assessment includes 25 pictures that are named on three separate occasions in one session, ensuring that the same lexical items are elicited within an identical context. The productions are then compared to calculate an inconsistency score. Children are deemed to have inconsistent speech disorder if 40% or more of the words are produced variably, and the consistent speech disorder if they exhibit two or more atypical patterns as well as having an inconsistency score below 40%. After assessment, words selected for practice are those that are used frequently in the child's functional communication, such as names of family, friends, or teachers, places like school, the park, or McDonald's, functional words like please and thank you, and even some of their favorite things like sports, superheroes, games, and or characters, taking into account the client's inventory of speech sounds. I'm Ms. Humphreys, my name is Ms. Smitherman, and I'm McLean's teacher, and this is Ms. Thompson, her speech therapist. Hi, it's nice to meet y'all. Nice, nice to meet you too. too. Um, Ms. Humphreys, today we're going to talk about the different words that you would like for McLean to learn, so you can use them at, in home and also in the school setting. And once we get these words down, we select 50 words, then we can see, okay, these will be words like bathroom and eat and animal and then you can try to implement them in the home because the more practice she gets using these words, then the better she'll be able to learn them quicker. That sounds good. Okay. So let's think about some words that you would like to use and for her to learn in the home. Um, in the home, I think the best ones um, would be like brush, for her to brush her hair. Um, we have a dog, so pet would be good. And family. Okay. Those would be some good ones for her. And the teacher, what would you like, Mrs. Smith? Can I talk to you? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say book or sit okay. or read or something like that. All right. Well, and these are the list of words. We have these vocab cards, and they go along with this. And so basically this will have a picture on it. And so when I show it to her, I'll say read, and then she'll see the picture, and then she'll be able to comprehend and see that the picture goes along with the word. Okay. Help her. Sounds good. The core vocabulary therapy begins with the child, parents, teacher, and the speech-language pathologist picking approximately 50 target words. 10 words a week are selected from the list of 50 words, and best production is demonstrated by the clinician using cued articulation, sound-by-sound -sound production, and syllable-by-syllable -syllable production. Once best production has been taught, the words are drilled to test the client's production. 
words produced consistently three times in a row are removed from the list of 50 words. Words that are inconsistently produced remain on the list. At the start of the next week, 10 new words are randomly chosen. Hi McLean, I'm Miss Thompson and I, you know me because I previously evaluated you and today we're going to work on some vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Can you say pet like you have a cat at home? It's your pet. Tet. Tet. Okay, let's put our tongue up and say pa. Can you say pa with your lips? Ta. Okay, now I want you to put your lips together and say pa. Pa. There we go. Now, can you say pet? Good job! Data is collected during the drill session at the end of the week using a two-way scoring method of correct or incorrect production. The clinician presents the vocabulary card to the client. If the client produces the word correctly, the clinician marks a plus. If the client produces the word incorrectly, the clinician marks a minus. The client must produce each word correctly three times consecutively to consider the word mastered. Okay, friend, friend. One more time, friend. Okay, dance, dance. Good job. Farm, farm. Okay. One more time, farm. Family, family. Good job. Animal. Animal. Alrighty. One more time for me. Animal. Good job. Verbal feedback is given to the client in response to his or her productions of the target words. If the client produces a target word correctly, the clinician gives verbal praise. If the client produces the word incorrectly, the clinician demonstrates correct production and prompts the client to correct their production and try again. Also giving reinforcement for the completion of a group of words or of all words can be beneficial to the client. For example, when the client correctly produces 10 words, he or she will win a prize or a toy from the treasure box. Okay, McLean, you have nine stickers. So if you get one more sticker, you get to have a lollipop. Okay? okay, so let's try to say this word correctly. Pet. Pet. Okay, that was very close, but can we put our lips together and make the puss sound when we say pet? Pet. Good job. Okay, let's try to do book. 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 Awesome. You have got that correct, so you get one more sticker. You have a fish. Look at all those pretty stickers. Yeah. Now you get a lollipop. Yay. Some advantages of this treatment approach is that it effectively improves consistency of word production, learning to say functional words consistently, and targets the child's deficit in phonological planning. It also provides detailed information about a limited number of words, and drilling the use of that information improves the ability to create a phonological plan. Some disadvantages are that it relies heavily on caregivers' reinforcement at home, only targets limited items, and it does not target surface air patterns or specific sound features. This presentation was brought to you by McLean Harding, Kaylee Humphreys, Erica Smitherman, and Kelly Thompson. Thank you for your time.